Hello, Amy. How are you doing today? Hey, Sam. I brought an amazing friend. Oh. Alistair the Alligator today. Alistair the Alligator is awesome. He is. He can be a little affectionate, so I like to pet him under here. Oh. And he's mostly agreeable. Is he agreeable? Because sometimes I think alligators might be kind of angry. (laughs) He can be when he's hungry. Um. But he's very active and adventurous. He likes to go everywhere. Oh, hmm. is he an articulate alligator? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I'm thinking that today we might be celebrating the letter A. <laughs> well, I think before we can really start celebrating all the awesomeness that is A, we need to get warmed up with our new warm up, which is called. The alphabet B. Do you remember this one from last week, Amy? I'm so ready. Okay, you ready to clap your hands? I can do that. Clap your hands, get ready to stomp your feet. Now, Amy and I won't be stomping because we're, you know, in a little frame, (laughs) but uh, stomp your feet and then everybody do the alphabet B. Amy and I will do a little back and forth. It goes like this. It goes, first, clap your hands and stomp your feet. Everybody do the alphabet beat. Apple, apple, apple. A, A, A. Apple, apple, apple. A, A, A. Now wave your arms high and swing your arms low. The alphabet beat is the way to go. Blue, blue, blue. B, B, B. Blue, blue, blue. B, B, B. Now move to the left and move to the right. The alphabet beat is way out of sight. Car, car, car. C, C, C. Car, car, car. C, C, C. Shout it out loud. Now whisper down low. Just one more alphabet beat to go. Dog, dog, dog. D, D, D. Dog, dog, dog. D, D, D. Now give a high five to a nearby friend. The alphabet beat has come to an end. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, Sam. So today we're talking about the letter A. Ah. This is a capital A. It's mm-hmm. used at the beginning of some words, sentences. You learn that later. And this is the small a, which generally appears inside words or other stuff. Hmm. So uh, like your name starts with a. So yours would start with the red one, right? With the big A? Yep. Okay. Whereas- and my name has a bunch of A's in it but it doesn't start with it. Like Sam has an A in the middle. Yep. It would be the blue A, the little A. You got it. I choose the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to- Go out and watch the Matrix, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to describe some things to you and you're going to guess them. Okay? okay, I love it. It's like a game that I can totally crush. I'm going to win. You are going to win. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Oregon is known for this fruit. Apples. I just bought some amazing, like, sweet tango apples, like, Ugh. getting some really fun varieties right now. Okay, That's so kinda, you and sorry, I... I busted in on that. This is going to be a fun game. I feel like I'm going to crush it. You're going to crush it. <laughs> um, this, we both love to cook, mm-hmm. and many people wear these when cooking. I admit I do not and typically have a lot of stains on my clothing as a result. What is this... I'm- I'm thinking it's an apron. I have one hanging in my kitchen. Not like I that. Pre- I have multiples. <laughs> do I ever put them on? No, I do not. Yeah. The only time I remember is when I'm deep frying tofu because that stuff is a mess. <laughs> you told me that once. And so I do wear it for that. Okay. This next one is a fruit, but we eat it like a vegetable. It's filled with fat. And it's so delicious. And it's this oh. beautiful green inside. I was thinking artichoke, but it must be avocado. Avocado, which oh. I didn't cut yet because I don't want it to get brown. But Oh, I love an avocado. Guacamole. I could eat a guacamole all day long. Okay. And then our final one. Um, I think these fall off of an oak tree in the fall. Squirrels love to eat them. And children love to collect them. Yes. I have an entire tub filled with them. They're acorns. They are acorns. (laughs) 
<laughs> we, uh, we love finding acorns when we go out and take walks. We're so that is A right there. You got a little lesson. A. It's a good letter. <laughs> I like it. All right. I think we have lots of fun A words that we can put into action. Are you ready, Amy? All the A's. Okay, so let's play Heckety Peckety Bumblebee. And as you know, we will start with a one syllable word. And I've got a good one, I think. I've got the kind of little tiny black critter that crawls around at picnics. An ant? Yeah? Okay, let's do an ant. It goes like this. Heckety Peckety Bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Ant. 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 Ant! <laughs> okay so that's one you got a twosie i do i love double a's there's not very many words with double a's but aardvark Ooh, that's a fancy one aardvark the only other word i can think like that is like aaron and it's like a uh-huh. name so aardvark is a kind of special word let's do it goes like this heckety peckety bumblebee won't you say this word with me aardvark <laughs> aardvark Ah! <laughs> that, that was, was fun. fun to yell. Yeah. Okay, so we've got uh, ant and aardvark, and now we're up to three. Well, let's see if we can keep this animal thing going. How about an antelope? Do you feel good about an antelope? I think they're kind of fancy. We've got some fancy animals going on. So, and let's make sure antelope. One, two, three. Okay, let's do it. Heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Antelope. 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 Antelope! <laughs> okay, can you, can you keep the A animal awesomeness alive, Amy? We've got one, two, three, and we're up to, of course, an alligator. Perfect. Okay, let's make sure alligator. Four, it meets the mark. Let's do it. Goes like, okay. Hi, Alistair. <laughs> Heckety peckety bumblebee. Won't you say this word with me? Alligator. Alligator. <laughs> alligator! <laughs> you almost got bit by an alligator there, Amy. Yeah, it was a little scary. It was touch and go. A close call. <laughs> Don't annoy Alistair. (laughs) Huh. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that we are up to the very best part of story time, the story. Am I right? Right. And this story I chose today is uh, recommended by your son, Nick. (laughs) So I know it's a good one. And it is Angry Cookie. Angry Cookie. Angry Cookie by Laura Dockrell and Maria Carapidu. And if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong, Maria, I apologize again. I did so already. (laughs) Oh, man, that looks hilarious. I cannot wait. (laughs) It's Nick recommended, so we know it's good. And he likes a funny book, so. (laughs) Hey, everybody. Today's book for the letter A is Angry Cookie by Laura Dockrell and Maria Carapidu. Maria, I apologize if I pronounced your last name wrong. Okay, here we go. Angry Cookie. Mm, Somewhat interesting end pages. There's our friend. Oh, it looks like he's taking a little sleep there. Oh, not you again. It's so bright! My eyes! Close this book this very second, you nosy noodle! Don't even think about turning the page. I'm warning you, I am very angry. And there is nothing you can do about it. You are so annoying! Mind your own business. Goodbye. The end. Er, hello. (coughs) Hint, hint. Meaning. 
Go away. Close this book now. Oh, still here, are you? Well, well, well. I guess if you are planning on sticking around, perhaps I could tell you a little bit about why I'm so angry. That doesn't mean we are going to be friends or anything, so don't get any funny ideas. It all started yesterday when my roommate, Barbara, got out her new recorder. She only knows this once terrible song and keeps playing it over and over again. I hate the recorder. And you're not even allowed to use the word hate, but I just did. So there. And then all the delicious, yummy strawberry pudding toothpaste ran out. So I had to use the grow it up spicy kind. Ah, it burns. And then I had to get my hair cut. It was hanging in my eyes, you see. Cookies need haircuts too, you know. But I let my barber try a new look on me and my hair looked even worse. So now I have to wear this hat. And no hats even fit my big brown head because I am a cookie. And they don't make hats for cookies, do they? Furious, I then took myself and the hat to the ice cream parlor. I had my heart set on the best, most wonderful vanilla sundae with hot caramel sauce and whipped cream and marshmallows and hundreds and thousands and millions of chocolate sprinkles and even a red cherry on top served in a tall glass. But they had run out of the best, most wonderful vanilla sundae with hot caramel sauce and whipped cream and marshmallows and hundreds and thousands and millions of chocolate sprinkles and even the red cherry. They had the tall glass, but it was empty. On my way home, a bird tried to snack on me. Get off! Shoo! I shouted, but I don't think cookies are heard. Maybe that's why I'm so angry at the whole world, because nobody listens to me. Nobody sticks around. Although, I guess you are still here, aren't you? Wow, that is a nice surprise. I guess my haircut isn't so bad. Perhaps I could maybe take this too small hat. And actually, Barbara's song isn't so annoying when you get used to it. Maybe my glass isn't so empty after all. I don't even need ice cream when I have you. You keep coming back. You listen to me even when I'm being a grumpy lump. A meany moody moany mongoose, a sulky sandwich, a horrid hump, an angry cookie. You're still here. And that makes me feel not so angry anymore. In fact, I feel happy. And that is why you keep coming back, right? Thanks, friend. Oh, Barbara. And that is the story of Angry Cookie. Ah, oh, okay. That was every bit as hilarious as I remember. Angry Cookie becomes a happy cookie in the end. So it's got a nice, happy ending. I love it. I wonder if there's going to be a series. Do you think next it'll be like surprised cookie? And uh, what else? Like a shamed cookie. Sad cookie. <laughs> Sad cookie. <laughs> Well, we will move on from cookies to something else that starts with C, camels. But the thing that makes this an A song is the name of the camel. This is a song all about Alice the camel. Okay, so let's go do it. 
Hello, it's time to celebrate a in song. <laughs> so we are going to do that with a super fun counting song called Alice the Camel. Now Alice starts with A, and this song goes from one to two to three to four to five. Alice at the end of the song is going to have five humps. What kind of a camel is that? I don't know. We're going to start with a one hump camel. Alice is going to start out as a dromedary, which is a one hump camel, and then we'll go from there. It goes like this. Alice the camel has one hump. Alice the camel has one hump. Alice the camel has one hump. Ride, Alice, ride. Okay, so that was one. What happens when we add another one? What are we up to? Two. A two-humped camel is a Bactrian camel. Okay, so let's do a Bactrian camel. Alice the camel has two humps. Alice the camel has two humps. Alice the camel has two humps. Ride, Alice, ride. Okay, so we did a one and a two. What happens when we add one to two? You get a three-humped camel, which doesn't exist in real life. <laughs> so we don't have a name for it. It's just a three-humped camel. It goes like this. Alice the camel has three humps. Alice the camel has three humps. Alice the camel has three humps. Ride, Alice, ride. Okay, so we did one and two and three. What's three plus one? Four. She's going to have four humps. Wow. Alice the camel has four humps. Alice the camel has four humps. Alice the camel has four humps. Ride, Alice, ride. Okay, so we did one, two, three, and four, and now we're up to what's four plus one? Four plus one is five. She's going to have five humps. Oh my goodness. Alice the camel has five humps. Alice the camel has five humps. Alice the camel has five humps. Ride, Alice, ride. <laughs> nice job. Man, okay. I love Alice. I do too. I've never seen a camel with five humps, but I can imagine it. Yeah, we should invent. I mean, we've got the, you know, dromedary and the Bactrian. We could do the tertiary camel, the quadrinary camel. Something. <laughs> the quint quintessential camel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll save that for Q. <laughs> okay, so I believe it's time for a laugh. I crushed it in the other guessing game. I think I'm going to crush it in the jokes too. Let's find out. Hey, Sam. Did you know alligators can grow up to 18 feet? No, I feel like I'm going to be pranked. I did not know alligators can grow up to 18 feet. Yeah, but most of them only have four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not counting that one because there's there ain't no alligator that has 18 feet. <laughs> that you've seen. <laughs> some crazy mutant alligator. <laughs> I don't want to see that alligator. That would be scary. Okay. Um, what dance do all astronauts know? The moonwalk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. Stretch it out. Knock, knock's coming. Okay. I'm ready. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? Alien. Alien who? Just how many aliens do you know, Sam? <laughs> all right. Well, I didn't get them all, but, but I laughed and that's all that matters. <laughs> all right. Well, that was some serious awesomeness. It was amazing. It was uh, aspirationally. Adorable. Adorable. <laughs> It was, I know, it was alliterative. It was very alliterative. That's a good word. That's a 10 cent word right there. And now we are going to say goodbye with our new goodbye song, which I super love, The Goodbye Train, which goes to the tune of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. So it goes like, this. we're going to make ourselves in the trains. Y'all know how to do that, right? And then we're going to get to the most fun part. Toot, toot. And Amy will be our train whistle. Okay, so it goes like this. 
Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to A. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to A. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to A. Oh, we'll say goodbye to A. Oh, we'll say goodbye to A. See you soon. Toot, toot. Okay, so who are we going to say hello to next week? B. B, right there. Okay. Oh, we'll say hello to B. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say hello to B. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say hello to B. Oh, we'll say hello to B. Oh, we'll say hello to B. See you soon. Toot, toot. All right. All right. I will see you later. Be on time, my better beavers, for next week's letter B. <laughs> Where we will build a better, more beautiful book-related world. <laughs> mm-hmm.